Hi everyone, I hope you guys are staying safe and you guys are doing well. Uh, for today's lesson, we're going to be speaking about uh, the Feast of St. Pachomios. So I'm going to share my screen. So yes, as I said, we're going to be talking about the Feast of St. Pachomius, which is around this time usually, every year. Um, so around this time every year, we celebrate the Feast of St. Pachomius. Um, the feast is usually celebrated on the 14th of the Coptic month of Bashans, And this is usually around uh, May 22nd or around this time. Um, so St. Pachomius is known as the father of communal monasticism. So what communal monasticism is, is when monks live together in a community, so they're not necessarily living alone and, you know, in the desert, but they're living together, like we see in this picture, uh, in a community. So the life of St. Pachomius. So St. Pachomius was born in the year 290, and he was born in Egypt. His parents uh, were not Christians. They worshipped idols. Uh, when St. Pachomius was about 20 years old, he became a soldier in the army under uh, Emperor Constantine the Great. He suffered a lot from the Roman emperors. Um, and one day, uh, his regiment was camping around a town uh, called Esna in Upper Egypt. So they were preparing to attack the town and basically kill the Christians there. However, the people of the town uh, visited them and the other soldiers and brought them food and drinks for them. Uh, so even though, right, uh, you know, St. Pachomius and his, and his army were going to attack the town uh, and kill the Christians, the people in the town um, would bring them food and drinks, right? They wouldn't, they, they, they didn't hate them. They brought them um, things. So St. Pachomius was surprised and he was very impressed by the nice treatment and love that the people, you know, gave to him. So he asked, what is the reason that they're so nice? And the other sol soldiers explained to him that the people of this town were Christian and their faith was Christianity, which taught them um, to, to not only love their friends, but to also love their enemies. So these Christians were doing what Christ taught them and us to do. Uh, so St. Pachomius said to himself, you know, if Christianity, if this is how Christianity is, so if I go back safely, I also want to become a Christian. So this is exactly what he did. So when he returned safely, he studied uh, the Christian religion for three years, and then he was baptized. Uh, he insulted the idols after that and refused to ever worship them again. So. St. Pachomius went and became a disciple for a monk whose name was St. Philemon, and he studied um, w uh, under him, and he also stayed uh, several years as a disciple for St. Philemon um, until he learned all about monasticism. So shortly after this, an angel came to St. Pachomius and asked him to establish a, hol a holy uh, communal mon monastery. As we can see in the picture, the angel coming to St. Pachomius, um, so he basically asked him to establish or to make, you know, um, a monastery with many monks together. So a large number of monks came to him and he helped them to build not only one, but to build many monasteries. So he organized them, um, so that they had some time to work. So he basically gave them work to do you know, and um, he gave them some time for food and also some time for pre uh, prayer and reading. And St. Pachomius was the father of them all. Uh, St. Pachomius told all the monks who followed him not to become priests, okay? So he did not want them to become priests. This is because he wanted them to dedicate all their life to prayer, right? To support the church and to support, you know, the priests by their prayer. Okay, so remember, the church needs both preaching and prayer, not one only. They need both together. So one day, St. Athanasius called St. Pachomius and wanted to uh, obtain him as a priest. He wanted to make him a priest. So St. Pachomius refused, right? He didn't want to. He, 
and he only wanted to become a, to stay a monk. Um, and the same for all his disciples. They all wanted to just stay monks, right? So St. Pachomius said to, uh, St. Antonesio said to St. Pachomius, blessed are you and your disciples because you choose to have no glory and build your faith on the rock. So St. Pachomius continued to be the head of communal monasticism for 40 years after that. So 40 years after that, he continued to, you know, lead other monks, right, in monasticism. So when he was about to pass away, he called all his disciples or the other monks, and he strengthened them, and he wished them peace and spiritual prosperity. So what do we learn from the life of St. Pachomius? So the most effective type of preaching is by setting up a good example, right? So we can, we can do this by leading, by dealing with everyone in love, which will bring more people to Christ and Christianity. And we know that the, you know, the people in Islam whom, uh, you know, St. Pachomius went to visit while he was in the army, this is exactly what they did, right? They practiced preaching by setting up a good example. So even though they were going to kill the Christians, right, the Christians themselves showed love right, to St. Pachomius and his army by bringing them food and drinks, right, and this convinced, this alone, this act alone convinced St. Pachomius, you know, to become a Christian himself. Um, so uh, we must learn to live together in peace as all the disciples of St. Pachomius have done, right, so we know that all the disciples of St. Pachomius, right, they lived in unity, right? So you live together. So we must also learn to live together. This is also relevant when we have to live together with our mom and dad and brothers and sisters. We have to be nice to them. We have to be kind to them, like all the monks did as they were living with St. Pachomius, right? You have to help our mother and father, just like all the monks were helping in the monastery, right? This helping each other and, you know, being there for each other and this unity, right, leads to the success in your families, right, and, the, and also in the church. The church would not function without its congregation, right? So we have to come together and, um, you know, we have to live in peace together and also the entire world, right? So even if we don't agree with someone, right, with their opinion, we should always love them, right? So maybe sometimes in school, you know, you are uh, you and your friends have a disagreement, right? You don't always agree on everything, right? So even though you might not agree with them and you might not agree with what they say or, you know, what they do, right? It doesn't mean you hate them. No, it means that you actually love them, okay? Just like, you know, um, just like the people in the town of Isna, right? Even though this army was coming to kill them, they did not they did not um, hate them. They loved them. And this love, this form of love, right, is what convinced St. Pachomius to become a Christian himself. Okay, so now we are going to do a review. So the first question, on which Coptic month and day is the feast of St. Pachomius celebrated? I will give you a minute for you to think your, the answer in your head, and then I'll show you the answer. So if you said the feast of St. Pachomius was celebrated on the 14th of the Coptic month of Bashan, then you are correct. So where was St. Pachomius born? I'll give you a minute to answer this question. If you said Egypt, then you are also correct. Uh, the third question, where did St. Pachomius first learn about Christianity? If you said when he was camping in the town of Isna in Upper Egypt as a soldier, then you are correct, right? So the people, as we said, showed him love by bringing him food and drinks, right, and the rest of his army. And he, he was so astonished and so, you know, surprised by this, this love that they were giving him that he also wanted to be a Christian himself. So St. Pachomius became a disciple of the monk named... If you said St. Philemon, then you are correct. So the church needs both blank and blank together. What do you think the answer is? 
if you said prayer and preaching, then you are correct, right? The church doesn't you just need one. It needs both of them together. And the last question, what is the most effective type of preaching? If you said the most effective type of preaching is being a good example, then you are correct, right? And this is also seen with the people, you know, of the town of Isna, right? When they were so nice to St. Pachomius and the rest of the soldiers by bringing them food and, and drinks. Okay, this is the end. Good job, everyone. Hopefully I'll see you soon.